So in this episode, we meet two fan favourite characters. Definitely two of my favourite characters. York Burnison and Lee Scoresby. Um, and I'm very happy with how they turned out. Um, so right from the very first part of the episode, we're meeting up with Lee. And uh, I apparently this actor who's playing him is quite well known. I've never heard of him before, but... Uh, um, I like him. I think he's very good. Does a character definitely does character justice. Um, I mean, I I always saw him as the Sam Elliott kind of person, even before the Golden Crap came out. Um, that was how I pictured Lee Scoresby. So you know, they've got a kind of different style with him at the moment. Um, but yeah, I like him, and I like I like his um, interaction with Hester. Actually, um, I mean. In this series, you haven't really had an interesting human-demon interaction. Um, it's just kind of one of the downsides about uh, about the show so far. Um, in that, Lyra and Pan don't really have that kind of interaction as they do in the books. Um, you know, Pan's just there; doesn't really do much. So yeah, I like that they've got that kind of. Uh, relationship going on uh, between Lee and Hester. I think, I think that's great. Um, when he gets into a bar ball, it's, 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 it's straight out of a western, um, but I like it. I think that was pretty hilarious. He has great chemistry with um, with Daphne Keane as Lyra. I think I, I, I can see this uh, going quite well. Just the two of them together. I, I love them. Both of them just fantastic. And I don't know whether that's a fanboy in me, but I just I, I've always liked how that, you know, that, that, that their, their characters' relationship. Um, so I'm just kind of, you know, hoping it's going to continue to be as good. Now we get to Yorick. One of the annoying things about the Golden Compass was they did Yorick wrong. They treated him as like, you know, a noble king or something like that. You know, um, but he's not. He's He's no, he's got no ability, yes, but he's still a bear, um, and so there's that savagery that they don't really show off too much in the film, or at least I don't remember it. And of course, they cast Ian McKellen as uh, as the voice, and it's just you're not, you're not going to get the right level of savagery with Ian McKellen. Um, whereas this, you do, and. Right from the off, I mean, you hear his voice first, and he, he does sound dangerous, like something you don't you don't want to mess with this bear. As I say, there's a certain level of savagery about the character, but and 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 in this in this portrayal, you feel that you feel that yeah, you say the wrong thing, he'll bite your head off. Um, in fact, Lyra has to actually try to stop him at some point to uh, stop that. Um, so yeah. Definitely, definitely, yeah, uh, like in that portrayal. Um, the effects, York's effects are, are just fantastic. I mean, he, look, he look, looks... I, th I, th I think that's one thing I didn't like about um, The Golden Compass again is... That, I mean, yes, it was made in the early 2000s, so the you know, computer effects weren't always that good, but it almost felt too clean, if you know what I mean. Whereas York feels lived in. Uh, he's got scars on his face and everything like that. Um, it's, the fur is dirty and things like that. It's great. Um, the his armor looks looks lived in, looks dented and worn. Um, you also get a uh, glimpse of uh, Yofa as well, whose armor is nice and shiny and things like that, which is good. The one thing that I've quite liked up till now is um, Lord Boreal's story because it's something new um, and it's something I like and. You don't get that much in this story, which is a bit of a shame, but I think next week we're going to see a bit more and it looks like, looks like I am right, we're going to be meeting Will earlier than the subtle knife. At least from the next time trailers it looks like, I mean, I'm inferring here, I don't know what's going to happen, but um, it certainly looks like they're going to Will's mum's house, so. I mean, this is the thing, you know, as I say, first book's Lara's story, second book's Will's story, but if you're doing an ongoing telly series, you can weave it in a little bit more, um, because having the second book 
just be Will's story. You've got a lot of stuff that you've got to just cram in at once. Um, and so it can feel sudden. Um, whereas they're gradually doing it a little bit like this, and I think that's great. So yeah, I am looking forward to seeing how they're going to portray that. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's honestly going strength to strength. I am very, very happy with this series. Um, we've reached a halfway point now. Um, we're already in the north, um, and it looks like we're going to get a touch of um, horror next week as well when um, Lara finds out what they're doing at Bolvanger. Which is brilliant.